the five yard line. I mean, and they showed on the, on the last series. This is the exact same thing that happened. So let's see what they choose to do this time. And two receivers out, one on each side. He's going to hand it off to his running back, but they're going to stop him behind the line of scrimmage. So that's like a loss of two yards. So it's a great defensive stop by the Tigers. So let's hope they can keep this going. And that's all you can ask for. Keep playing strong and keep playing tough. That's all you can really do. And, I mean, 10 minutes left in this half. Let's hope that they can just regain that control. So Cook, Dustin Cook takes the step, hands it off to Jones. And once again, Jones, nowhere to go. So we're looking like he's right back at the original, uh, the original line of scrimmage. It is. It's third and five. Uh, to go, 9.40 left to go in the first half. Right, and it, I mean, that's that's a lot of time. I mean, considering the, the, the way the, the Tigers have been performing, I mean, nine and a half minutes, that, that's a lot of time to play, play some football. So let's hope they can continue to try to contain them until the end of this half. So Cook is looking to take the snap. Jots back, looking left. He throws it out, and it's almost intercepted. Big stop for the Tigers wow. there. Great, great almost. job by T. Jasper. He almost had that interception. Um, Cook was looking to go to Evan Pitts. If Jasper intercepts that, then you know he's taking it to the house. Oh, yeah, that was a pick six. <laughs> that was pretty really pick six all day. That would have been like a, a, a 95 yarder. Uh, 96, 95 yarder. Wow. Time. Here comes so, Walker. So, again, they, they limit them to just a field goal, so a better defensive performance. So, this is uh, Thompson. Ball's up. Thompson puts the ball up, and it looks like it's through the uprights. Walker Thompson, the old Miss commitment, is pretty pretty money on the bank, ain't he? Oh, yeah. That, uh, his balls, I mean, they, they just <laughs> those balls slip the upright, I mean, tremendously. I mean, the guy, he's shown he has a leg, and he's shown he has great accuracy. So, I mean, hey, even if the Mustangs do struggle, I mean, they have a great kicker. So that's another way that this team can is hurt. This is another way that this team is hurting the Tigers. So now the Tigers are just going to have to get some. They're going to have to get some turnovers. They got to do something. They got to find some spark on them. You know, they need to kick a uh, have a kickoff return, get a score. I mean, you, you ain't out of this game yet. I mean, three, 20 to nothing sounds bad, but if you if you if you were here, you, you'd be able to see it that. They just need a score. Right. And, I mean, they've had plenty of opportunities. I mean, they've had, like, three opportunities. I mean, first, um, Colton Edmonds had one early in the game. And just then, um, T. Jasper. I mean, they've had plenty of opportunities. And Broadway had almost had one earlier in the game. But now the Mustangs are kicking off. And it's like Morris is going to field this one. And, again, though, take it from their 20 because the ball goes in the end zone. Wow. So, once again, the, the, the Tigers are gonna they're going to start deep. But they, you know, no matter where they start, I mean, they're they're going to have to find a way to get into some type of offensive offensive rhythm. You're absolutely right. This quarter being brought to you by Laurel Home Center over on 84. Go see Evan and the guys and Hillary. They'll get you a deal on a nice mobile home. They got me one, so y'all go see them too. And, and another thing that I was thinking about, John, it seems like they're struggling on the struggling on the ground. So maybe I'll try a different type of play, maybe a read option or something. Something has to work here. As McGee takes the snap and he gives it to Hayes. Hayes powering his way up the middle for about a, a, a five-yard gain on that carry. So not a bad job. The offensive line helping him out by giving him a push. You know what they need? They need to go by and get up some good raisin cane chicken fingers before the pregame. Hey, that always helps. They might need some chicken in them. Yeah, chicken in them. And that <laughs> sauce too, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> good old sweet tea. And lemonade. <laughs> All right, so they're going to line back up here, going two receivers. McGee is going to hand it off to Hayes again. Hayes is going to drag a few defenders for about another five-yard pickup. And and they're, do, they're doing good here. They're keeping the drive going, making it manageable, and right. they're not getting themselves in trouble. Right, and one thing that I've noticed that they've done, they've eliminated some of the receivers, and they've added some more offensive linemen. So maybe that's the direction they're going to look to go in, to get the ground game going and just adding some more um, offensive linemen for some more protection to create, help create some more lanes. Absolutely. They're going to keep that same formation, one receiver on each side. Hayes to the left of McGee this time. That's going to be a good first down, it looks oh. like. Mustangs jump there, so oh, first yeah. down Tigers. So I'll take it 
any way we can get it right now at this point. <laughs> exactly. That looks like Colin Maggard got a little excited on the play. Seems like he tried to time the snap a little bit and just cross the line a little bit too much. And when he did that, it caused the whole off defensive line to jump just a bit. Yeah, you know. Give the young man credit. He's trying. He is trying. That's it. But like coach, our coach used to tell us, if you're going to cross that line, you better hit somebody. You better plow into somebody, <laughs> yeah. So they line up again. They could move most receivers to the left this time. Okay. That's a good run. Uh, yeah, Hayes up the middle. Hayes up the middle, man. That seems to be working right now for the yeah. Tigers. So, you know, see, I think they're finding some offensive identity here and finding out something that works. I, I've got a good idea. Keep it away from Byron Young. That's all you got to do. <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, you keep it away from his direction. So, I mean, hey. Go the other way with Mr. Young. Right, and you know he has he has been a disruptive force on that defensive line. I mean, he's not allowed McGee to really do much of anything. Not at all. He's a talented commitment to Alabama. All right, so they're going to keep that same formation. McGee is going to keep the ball and take it himself up the middle for a first down. I think they found an identity here. Something that's going to work. Something is finally clicking for the Tigers. Something we need. They need to go down and score. You know, and, and just keep it close to where they could be able to manage. Right, and you know they're keeping this thing steady here. So I mean, each I mean each time Hayes gets the ball, I mean he's getting you know at least five yards. So I mean they're finding something steady here. So they're just going to have to you know keep working the clock. I mean they have about you know seven minutes left yeah. in this first half. So they're just going to have to to I keep would just it up. Take it easy. Yeah, just you know just keep working the clock and get some points and try to get some points on the board before this before this half expires. So they're going to keep the same formation. McGee takes the step. He's going to hand it off to Hayes. The defensive line wasn't too caught up with that one, and they stopped Hayes as soon as he got the ball. So we're going to have about a two-yard pickup on that carry. Yeah, so, well, really, they didn't get gained nowhere. They stopped him right at the line of scrimmage. Right. And now you kind of have to wonder, is Hayes getting winded here? I would have, I would say so. I would I'm, probably maybe throw a, a little pass out in the flat. And right, I mean, he's been, a primary, pass. he's been a primary running back since the game started. I mean, they, <laughs> the guys, he's had quite a few carries here. So, I mean, Maybe need to see, look to give the guy a little bit of rest. But they're going to keep working the same formation. They're going to send Jay Jones in motion. McGee hands off to, to Jones. Jones blocked one tackle, but wow, he took a vicious hit. But it looks like Cedric Bender. Yeah, Bender caught him in the backfield and just drove him uh, the other way. So now it's going to be a, be about third and, and a mile. Um, really about third. And it looks like 15. Yeah, it looks about a, a, a pretty good chunk of yards there. So they're going to go to a and timeout. A, a timeout heat for the heat. So yeah, um, it's kind of humid out here. It is. It's getting a little warm. Yeah, we're um, in the pasture now. We're in the pasture. We ain't in the jungle tonight. So uh, Tigers trail 20 to nothing with 549 left. Third and 14 from the Tiger 39-yard line. And this is being brought to you by Laurel Home Center over on 84. So go by and see Evan, Daniel, Josh, and the gang. We'll be there tomorrow uh, doing a fantasy football draft. Are you ready for that, Kinsley? Oh, I'm ready. I love – there's nothing quite like fantasy football. The really the only time that you can really get most of the players you really want on the same squad. So where would you be – like, where would you want to be if you were drafting, you know, in a league and if you were, you know – where would you want to be at? I would be probably around seven or eight. <laughs> seven or eight? I'd like to maybe a little, be a little bit higher than that, get all the good picks. Well, you know, you, you get in the middle, that way it, there's an even flow. Uh, you do have a point there. All right, so let's see. It looks like, okay, the Tigers are going to take a different formation here. So now they're going to go back to the shotgun formation with three receivers to the right, one to the left. McGee's going to take the hand. Oh, and just... Plows through with it. plows over the defender as he crosses the, the line. Would you go for it here if you were the Tigers? You know, I'm always one to look to go for it, John. I'm really not really much of a punt person, but I mean, hey, in this particular point, look like the Tigers, they're just gonna look like they're gonna punt it off. And with five minutes left, um, I would say there's probably a safe bet, but that deep, but you know, the defense has done a good job of you know controlling the Mustang offense, but I mean, they haven't quite been able to really stop them, so I mean. Right here, let's see if they can look to not allow any points from the Mustangs. So the kick what is up. What a kick by Patrick Little. That was a very high kick. So we're going to let the ball roll to about the, it looks like the 12-yard line. So the Mustangs are going to have to have a ways to go with four minutes and 40 seconds left in this first half. But, you know, the way that they've been performing, that's not a long way. 
No, so the Mustangs will take over first and 10 at their own 13-yard line, headed headed uh, that away, which is left. <laughs> that away, I like that. But yeah, I mean, I, and I think, honestly, I mean, they're going to they're gonna work the air game. I mean, it was that much time left. I mean, just if they choose to be aggressive and just go for it, or maybe they, they may just continue to try to work the ground game. We'll see what they decide to do. So we'll see what happens. The Mustangs are lining up, and here they go. They're going to come out with the, um, two formations. And Cook's going to hand it off to his running back who just cut the line splits, and he just goes straight up the middle, and the, the Tiger defense thought it was down, but the whistle never blow. And it's like the deep, the Tiger defense set up and allowed the running back to get uh, five or ten more yards. Yeah, uh, the Tiger defense couldn't track down uh, – the, the running back, the Mustang running back, so uh, a gain of about 20 yards. So that uh, takes it all the way up to the Mustang 34-yard line, and it's first and 10 Mustangs. And just so you know, this, uh, the running back is is, uh, is number seven. Um, it's kind of like I said, it's kind of hard to make out the number. We're doing the best we can, so it's going to be another a, a timeout on the field. So when you are hungry and you need something to eat, go by. Raising Canes. Brought to you by Raising Canes. Football is just a part of who we are. And that's really how it is here in the South. You know, here in Mississippi, Jones County, football is just what we know. It's it, it, right, John. It's like a way of life. I mean, <laughs> that we wait, we wait pretty much like eight months just for three months of football. But, I mean, it, it, it's all worth it. I mean, Everything that goes into, you know, the offseason, the preparation, I mean, all that all that wait time for this. But, you know, it's all worth it. And, um, I mean, we love every bit of it. I mean, I know I love me some, some Tiger football. I love all Tiger sports, but there's something about, you know, Tiger football that just really gets you going. It does. And so, um, you know, we're uh, getting ready for the Mustangs to come back. First and 10 for the Mustangs from the Tiger, from their own 34. Right. They're going to come out with three receivers, and Cook is going to, hand it off. He, well, he fakes the hand off and keeps it himself and picks up about seven yards on the carry. So, hey, that was a great great fake for the, on that yeah, play. That, I was almost faked out myself. Well, he didn't gain much. He gained about two but uh, a long two. But it was a good carry because I was faked as well. <laughs> Cook's done a good job here tonight. He is. Now he has three receivers out. Cook takes the snap. He hands it off to the running back. Cuts up the middle. Oh, he and again, the Tigers thought it was down, but he wasn't. So it's off to the races, to the 20, to the 30, to the 20, to the 10, and it's touchdown. Wow. Again. There is a flag on the play. So. And there is a flag on the play. Usually when it's that good, there's something to go wrong. Right. And it, and it probably was um, offensive holding again like the last time this happened. It was offensive holding. But then again, despite this, imagine if there was not a flag on the play. This Tiger defense, I mean, they have to go back to the basics here. I mean, they have to wrap up. I mean, it's like they they give up on the plate. I mean, you can't do that. Well, anytime the Tigers can get a little help tonight, we'll take it. Yeah. So it's like it's going to come back. No, they're going to replay the second down. So it's second and seven from the Tiger, from the Mustang 37. Okay, so let's hope that the same result doesn't happen this time. So Cook takes the snap and he hands it off to the running back. So they're going to go the exact same play right up the middle. Wow. It was a good run. Jones did a great job to get the first down. You know, just to power a little back and uh, can really get out and run the football. And, you know, and, and you know, considering the fact that they go, they run the exact same play, it's showing the fact that they just don't respect this Tiger defense. They don't. And, uh, you know, I don't know. The Tigers are going to have to make them respect it. Exactly. I mean, you have to make them earn that respect. They're going to come out, uh, three receivers, two to the left, one to the right. Cook takes the handoff, gives it to the running back. Running back plows up the middle for about an 11-yard gain. It was Jasper Jones on a great carry. You know, even though Jasper Jones, I mean, he's kind of a little running back, but, I mean, the guy packs a little power. He does. You know, he's getting 10 yards here, 10 yards there. He's really... Uh, taking it to the Tiger chin. You're right. They're going to line up in the exact same formation. He fakes the handoff this time. He tries to get it out. It looks like 
Evan Pitts again. The Pitts just couldn't hold.